So I'm using one deck this time around and jumping straight to the cards. We have the Five of Cups, the Hermit, the Knight of Cups. Overall outcome, Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So I like this because there appears to be some difficulties at the beginning of the week. You know, you're coming into it with the energy of the Five of Cups. This is not a person who is happy. This is a person who feels like they've suffered a loss and in some ways have been defeated. They're glancing down at these uh, empty cups, you know, dissatisfied with the way the situation has turned out. And they feel like turning their back on the world because they don't trust it anymore. With the Hermit, you're spending a lot of time in contemplation, isolation, just really thinking about how un events unfolded. You're most likely thinking about this, um, this event that you regret with the Five of Cups or that you just feel disappointed by. And again, you feel the need to spend time alone to just sort your feelings out. And some of you are trying to learn or just figure out how you feel as well, in general. It's like you don't understand your own feelings. With the Knight of Cups though, we have good news that is coming in, I feel. It's most likely tied to romance or it's something that fills your heart with joy, basically. And I see that in particular because the two outcome cards, you've got the ultimate contentment card, the Ten of Cups, with clarity and truth in the Ace of Swords. This is a revelation. This is a big moment, big information. You understand if you questioned your feelings, you understand them now and you have happiness as a result. If you were confused by any situation or you were unsure as to where a situation was headed, you have clarity now. You know where things are headed. Everything makes sense this week and for the better. You're happy with the way situations have resolved it feels like it's in your favor and for some you know this involves a romantic connection where like you and your partner are discussing matters and you're happy with what you're discussing you're agreeing on things you might even be talking about future planning for instance with this energy if you're not in a relationship don't worry i think in terms of the emotions it still feels satisfying so it feels like you've had a disappointing situation, you cried over it in a day or two, and then, you know, there's another still romantic connection here. This might even be a letter of apology that you're thinking about too, that just came up. And whatever the case may be, by the end of the week, you are content with the situation. You know, in matters of the heart, you're feeling satisfied. You found someone that you can emotionally connect with. And it may very well be long term. Outside of love and all that stuff, it still speaks towards emotional fulfillment, whether it's your job, your hobby, anything that you're focusing on for the week. If you spend a day or two in confusion and sadness over the way an event has turned out, by the end of the week, it's going to work out for the better. All right, why are you so sad? Five of Cups. Well, this points to work. It can be, you may have been working on something and you supposedly finished it, but not to the best of your ability or a project didn't quite end as you anticipated. I'm getting that sort of vibe. If you, something feels incomplete. If you were, in terms of work, yeah, this can be some form of negative review coming from a coworker, or uh, if anyone was giving you a review like a manager and whatnot, they're saying something potentially unfavorable about your skills. Or you're just simply sad about your skills, like you didn't do a good enough job. That That's what I feel like is coming up. And I don't, I'm not saying that as fact, I'm saying that as how you're feeling, that the effort, the job you've completed isn't too up to your standards. Hermit, what are you thinking about? Page of Swords. Well, I do feel like it may potentially relate to feedback or communication with someone. Again, there was a situation where feedback or your communications with another person did not go well. 
Maybe you guys ended up fighting or maybe in terms of that work feedback, someone said something ill about your skills and your efforts. And you didn't like that. You feel quite sad about it. But somehow the situation basically turns over. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe someone apologizes and you feel a lot better. Maybe they didn't mean it exactly how they said. But I think miscommunication is really the key word that ties into this energy of uh, regret and disappointment. And with the Six of Cups, I'm getting the vibe of it's in the past, water under the bridge, you can't really change it, neither can that person. Others, others of you might be communicating with someone from um, the past or a childhood friend and that turned up like upside down on its head. And again, there was some sort of disagreement between you and that person. Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the Knight of Cups isn't necessarily you, but someone is coming in to offer this apology. They feel like they mistreated you and abandoned you and they're offering help and assistance here. That's what I'm getting with this imagery. I'm not seeing this as you being financially um, suffering financially in any way, but rather someone coming in to attempt to help you and provide support. And, you know, you welcome that support and that effort from this other person. It's someone who truly cares about you. And you might be doing this to someone else, too. All right, Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. You know, communication and get, getting truth might have been an issue for a long time. And you were wondering how long it was going to take you to, you know, fully understand and see the bigger picture and get clarity with, like, another person or in a situation. But I feel like this week that all happens. Others of you, I'm just going to say that it does involve long-term discussions. Because Seven of Pentacles is a patient card it's like watching the pentacles in this case grow and manifest and they're not it's not completely done so i feel like this is getting is having discussions on long-term goals and planning which makes you happy because whatever you're discussing and gaining truth on is exactly what you want to hear and talk about what is this knight of wands and it leaves you feeling invigorated, passionate. You're like ready for this uh, next adventure. There's a lot of enthusiasm. That rainbow is so beautiful. And I, f I do feel like by the end of the week, you'll be very happy with the turn of events. And you just kind of want to shoot off in a direction with your uh, newfound passions. <laughs> All right. So and some of you actually might be discussing a long-term move. Uh, sorry, I just had the vibe to say that because uh, Knight of Wands can represent like that impulsive, spontaneous travel. So that can be coming up for you. And wherever you're going, it's something that is somewhere that you may have wanted to go to for some time. And it's quite adventurous, possibly. It doesn't have to be. I mean, it could just be somewhere that's relaxing. But regardless, it might be an impulsive discussion about um, a long-term move or change of plans. So I definitely think the week is about using your intuition, using what you know, what you feel to guide you through the week. Now you do start off with the tower. Look at that energy. It's dynamic. It's crazy. And there's a bit of a shock coming in for the beginning of the week. But the shock appears to be fantastic. And I love great towers. This could be, again, something that rocks your world for the better. What comes out after is the big old sun. This also represents the fact that if there were any secrets, if there was anything that was trying to be hidden, that's not the case anymore. Truth's coming to light, okay? Everything's coming to light. You can't hide from the sun. It's going to shine on every single nook and cranny. The tower is gone. But I do see this combination as something that is shocking, but leads to happiness, contentment on your end. So I like those towers. I've had those towers, which were great. You have that like happy high. I've had it in combination with the 10 of cups, for instance. And when it happens, it's fantastic. It's so fantastic. Now when it's the other way around, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, 
we have the page of swords so you could find that a lot of this you know big shake up might come through other people or you're just focused on communication after the fact you know maybe this is spreading the information out now that something so amazing seems to have occurred for you you're in contact with a lot of people possibly again sharing the news is what i get with the page of swords now with the tower i also want to say the tower's clarifier is the ace of pentacles so in terms of something that comes up suddenly here is an actual opportunity that comes out from the rubble and it might be a job it again might be someone just offering you a chance to engage in anything maybe this is something that you really want to be a part of uh, whether it's a group a group a project a side project um a group and team are pretty much the same thing i'm trying to think of other opportunities that could come up I mean, if you were engaged in any sort of competitive activity that's coming up in my head right now, you know, this can be going to that next level for an award or winning an award, you know, gaining something of value. That's what I'm, that's what I wanted to say. Gaining something of value out of the rubble. Here's this big fat coin, this big fat check. Enjoy. You're happy. Now you're happy with the sun and it's weird. It's like you're bored at the same time. So With the Four of Cups, you know, the Four of Cups is a little bit apathetic most of the time. And it's, look at this person's face. They're like, ugh, I don't, don't give me that cup. I don't care. I'm looking elsewhere. I'm somewhere else. So I think it's almost as if you get something dramatic happen. This big old fat um, opportunity just comes in. You know, take me, please. It leads to happiness. But at the same time, there is a side of you that is withdrawing. And I'm going to actually clarify the Four of Cups because I don't quite understand what the withdrawal is about. Um, or you might find that the joy is short-lived, for instance, and once it's gone, you're craving it again. So it's like no other opportunity will ever satisfy you as much as this one does coming out of the rubble. Hmm. with the page of swords we have the knight of swords so there's definitely lots of communication that's happening after the fact maybe people are asking you questions you have to answer them uh, regardless there's a back and forth tons of communication happening between you and um, many people This could definitely be an achievement. I just keep fixating on this Ace of Pentacles. Award, achievement, accomplishment. Those are the words that are just coming up. And in terms of those words, it's obviously unexpected. Like you're shocked that you maybe won something or you're being given an award or again, a check is on the way or you've been asked to hey, can you come down and speak at this university because you're just so talented, we want you there, we'll pay you so-and-so. Um, this is that vibe, being a part of something that feels very big to you. And again, it could be that it's short-lived. Um, so after it's said and done within the same week, it feels very sudden. You're like... You don't want to go back to normal life. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You, you want, you crave these sort of opportunities. And maybe you even seek out more. So you're communicating, you're networking, contacting a lot of people for the sake of getting more chances, getting more, gaining more experiences like this. As the outcome cards, we have the page of cups. This is the dominant card. This is good news good emotional news connections to you know the heart here so whatever it is you're hearing it affects you on that emotional level and i think you're happy with what you're hearing this is um positive feedback positive recognition um if you've again been asked to speak somewhere or be a part of a team perhaps lead a team something again that feels like a big opportunity the reception that you receive is wonderful, I think, and 
And the Four of Swords, I think it puts you at ease or some aspect of this experience makes you feel very comfortable. And perhaps even some of you are just taking a break after the fact and, you know, hoping, thinking about the experience. This can be thinking about what this person has said. It could be something like that. So let me just see that Four of Cups. It's bothering me. And I don't want every card. What are you struggling against? Hmm. Maybe whatever you've been offered here, whatever has come up, money is involved. And if other people find out, maybe they're asking you for help and reaching out to you. Oh, can you please help me now that you have so-and-so um, money available? Can you give me some or something like that? Because I feel like with this, I see... These people coming at you now that they know that you gained something of value, gained something of importance. And it's like, for me, in my mind, they're almost like reaching out and begging you to help them. And you kind of, you don't want to deal with it. I'm actually not seeing this as being emotionally dissatisfied, but maybe just trying to separate yourself from these people who are either begging you for money that now that they see you've accomplished something of this great value thinking that you can now fully support them. I get a moocher vibe. The devil came here with this combination. I'm seeing it honestly as feeling quite passionate about information that's coming, feeling about feeling passionate about situation. Just be careful of becoming overly attached to the sensation of whatever the success is. And because um, it feels like a high, like feeling really good and craving it again. And you might even be thinking again about either um, becoming part of something, like aligning yourself, truly committing yourself to something that will give you this satisfaction again. Because I do feel like as great as this is, it's very short-lived.